All right, quick review of the DJI goggles. I'm using it on a Spark. Okay, I wear glasses and I have an Oculus Rift. When I wear the Oculus Rift, I do not need glasses and I can see great. I put these on, I could see nothing. Uh, first, kind of bummed out about that. So I went to Walmart real quick and bought a $8 pair of readers. Because my regular glasses, I couldn't focus unless I could get the bifocal part up there. So anyway, I bought some readers, uh, got them activated and all that. That was all easy, no big deal. Got the OTG cable for this. I already had that because that's how I use my phone. OTG cable, simple cable here that comes with it. And about a, this little OTG cable right here, about five bucks on Amazon. All right, so this thing, all the videos you've seen where, oh, it fits great, it's great. Well, it's heavy, it's big, it's weird. I have an Oculus Rift. I have a PlayStation 4 VR, which is very similar to this. And I don't really like the PlayStation VR. For one thing, it seems this joint here seems like it's gonna be fragile. This is well built, but it fits weird on your head. First advice would be, to put this this sharp angle, like I, I saw another YouTuber show this, put this as low on the back of your head as possible and then get that to fit nice around the eyes. Uh, pretty good with light leakage. I didn't see any light leakage. Uh, seems pretty good. The glasses, I got the smallest ones, I could the narrowest ones I could find at Walmart and they fit inside there, no problem at all. And there's even these little cutouts where the sides of the glasses go. So I got the glasses to fit in there, no problem at all. It kind of bothered me looking at it at first, uh, kind of a little bit of eye strain, but I think that's because you put the rift on and you move your head around and the world stays there and you move within the world. If you don't understand what I'm talking about, you've never used the rift. It's the 3D head tracking where this is more like you're just looking at a screen out there, like you're sitting in the front row of a movie theater but um i think it's going to be pretty cool i haven't flown with it yet i just got them today uh one complaint i have about it is the two battery icons for the drone and for the headset itself they're up in the far right corner i can barely crank my eyes up there far enough to see them but um with the glasses everything seems fine uh it's got kind of a horizontal uh, i'm sorry yeah horizon level indicator on it when you're looking around. Um, when I had it in uh, the head tracking mode, flight mode, messing with that, and I was just holding the drone. Um, I bought these as refurbished, and if nobody told me that, I wouldn't know. They are absolutely perfect. The box was perfect. It's as if they've never been touched by human hands. I have not tried the HDMI in yet. I don't know that I have anything to really plug that into at this time. I guess I could plug them into uh, my PS3 without having to unplug the PS4 or anything, but very well built, fit really weird. But once I got this angle all the way down, like another YouTuber had said, and get this piece where it fits on your head, and I, I have this stupid uh, thing on my head. I forget what you call it. It's like a do-rag. That's what you call a do-rag. wearing a do-rag because my hair kept getting tangled and all this stuff. But uh, shave your head and that won't be a problem. Anyway, very well built. I think it's going to be cool. It's a little bit heavy. A little bit strange but I like the oculus rift so much that this was kind of odd for me like I said it's uh, very similar to the ps3 I'm, I'm sorry ps4 VR um, now prior to this I have a like a $15 VR headset that you put your phone into and an app called VR Pro total that's about $24 and you can fly first person view that way just to try it before you go out and spend uh, 
whatever these cost. These were two seventy nine as refurbished, and I think they're three twenty nine or three forty nine regular price. Um, anyway, I'm looking forward to flying this weekend, but it's supposed to be snowing. But this is unpaid. Uh, I have nothing to do with DJI. I paid for these with my own money. No one sent them to me. Uh, like again, I say cons, they're heavy. My hair gets tangled in it. They fit kind of strange. Um, they seem to be adjustable enough to fit pretty much anybody. They have the pupil adjustment. The pros are the glasses fit inside if you need them. Um, I think it's going to be pretty cool from what I could tell looking through the camera of the drone. Just, I didn't, you know, turn it on. I just held it up and moved it around the room. Uh, I think they're going to be really cool. I hope so, because that's a lot to invest in something that, that you don't like. And I was a little bit disappointed when I ripped them out of the box and just put them on. But once I messed with them and experimented with the fit, um, it was okay. And uh, the activation was actually easy. I plugged them into the computer after downloading the... Uh, DJI uh, Activate 2 or whatever, whatever DJI Assistant 2, I think it's called. Downloaded that, everything, username, password, and everything, boom, boom, everything was cool. So um, I will fly these things this weekend and come back with some sort of review. Of, uh, I hope I don't hate them. Anyway, thanks for watching. All right, so here's the uh, PS4. When I said this connection was fragile, I meant on the on the PS4, not on the DJI. This is very sturdy, and it does come apart by pushing this little button, pulling it out. What I what I meant was seemed flimsy was this one here. I can't imagine uh, having a couple of twelve year olds. They'd probably break this in a couple of days. But it, you see, it has that start sharp angle too. Um, I just have a lot of trouble getting used to this compared to the Rift. And of course, this is the first day I've had that, so I don't know, but um, this is hard to get used to. The product inside, the video you're actually seeing is awesome. The fit is a little weird, but uh, it's just, I think I'm spoiled by the Oculus because I like that. As you can see, these are very similar in the shape and design. These do not, the PS4 does not fold up like this one does. But when this thing folds up, you feel like you're gonna drop it off your head. So that's not that great of a feature, although it kinda, it does make it easier to get it on over the glasses that, that I described in the first part of the video. And then here is the $15 VR box bought on Amazon. And then the app on the phone VR Pro. I was kinda surprised once I got that at first it didn't seem to work and then I, I, I realized not only does this have the pupil width adjustment, it also has back and forth focus that really works well and focused uh, pretty good. But what I was surprised once I launched the VR app, it has some focusing and adjustments within the app that are pretty good too. So for $24 or whatever, uh, Flying the Spark in the VR like that, yeah, I can't beat it. Um, there may be a little bit of a delay, which a little bit of video lag, which kind of when I was holding the drone in my hand, the drone was not activated where it's the props are turning, but the camera's on, and I had the rift on my head, messing with the track of tracking head tracking and just moving it around. There's a little bit of lag in it which would be a problem if you were gonna to try to fly like race quad style, but the Spark doesn't go that fast anyway, so that might not be a problem, but there is lag, but I don't see that being an issue. And so far the head tracking seemed to have a lot of lag, but I, there is some adjusting to the speed of that, which I didn't try yet. So that's probably premature to make that comment about the lot lag on the gimbal in head tracking mode but just generally speaking if you move the you know, I had the, the spark in my hand and I moved it real quick and 
there was a little bit of lag before you see it move within the headset, but we'll see flying it, if that's any big deal or not. But anyway, it gives you a chance to kind of see those side by side. Same concept with the cup that fits on your head. Uh, the, the angle of that, this goes down below the back of your head. So the weight of this doesn't pull forward because uh, this goes below the back of the crown of your head. So um, I don't know. It's not the, not the, I really wish it was designed. I wish the DJI was designed like the Rift where it was just the uh, goggle on the front with a head strap, you know, like the Fat Shark goggles and everything. Uh, as opposed to what everyone here says, it feels like you have a toilet seat on your head. Um, now the difference there, the Oculus Rift, I wear it for hours at a time in a flight simulator or a racing simulator. Here with the Spark, with the 15 minute battery life, you know, you're gonna get up there and by the time you're going, you're, you're gonna have 12 or 13 minutes tops. So I think that'll kind of negate some of the weight and all that because you're not going to wear it a long time like you would the Rift. But there's a comparison of those two. This thing uh, actually definitely worth the 15 bucks to try that out. I uh, can't show you the Rift in comparison to these because I had a failure of the right side audio and it's actually the replacements being shipped back to me today. I got a uh, tracking notice that it was coming. Anyway, there's the uh, three different VR options here. And uh, there's one last thing. This is considerably lighter. Number one, it doesn't have any batteries or anything in it like that. So, of course, it would be lighter, but it is not. The, uh, it is not made anywhere near as well as this DJI thing. This is really this is really solid i wouldn't be concerned with this breaking or anything uh, the only cons to that are the odd fit and the weight but uh, we'll see what happens when we actually get in, in the field all right thank you